Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Beloved, today we are going to read a very beautiful psalm from the King James Version Bible, Psalm 68. Let us pray. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, Lord Jesus Christ. Lead us, guide us, help us, be with us and bless us. Amen. Psalm 68 God is the father of the fatherless. To the chief musician, a psalm of David, a song. Let God arise, let his enemies be scattered. Let those who also who hate him flee before him. As smoke is driven away, so drive them away. As wax melts before the fire, so let the wicked perish at the presence of God. But let the righteous be glad. Let them rejoice before God. Yes, let them rejoice exceedingly. Sing to God, sing praises to His name. Extol Him who rides on the clouds by His name Yah and rejoices before Him. A father of the fatherless, a defender of widows, is God in His holy habitation. God sets the solitary in families. He brings out those who are bound into prosperity, but the rebellious dwell in a dry land. O God, when you went out before your people, when you marched through the wilderness, the earth shook, the heavens also dropped rain at the presence of God. Sinai itself was moved at the presence of God, the God of Israel. You, O God, sent a plentiful rain, whereby you confirmed your inheritance. When it was weary, your congregation dwelt in it. You, O God, provided from your goodness for the poor. The Lord gave the word. Great was the company of those who proclaimed it. Kings of armies flee. They flee, and she who remains at home divides the spoil. Though you lie down among the sheepfolds, yet you will be like the wings of a dove covered with silver and her feathers with yellow gold. When the Almighty scattered kings in it, it was white as snow in Salmon. A mountain of God is the mountain of Bashan. A mountain of many peaks is the mountain of Bashan. Why do you fume with envy, you mountains of many peaks? This is the mountain which God desires to dwell in. Yes, the Lord will dwell in it forever. The chariots of God are twenty thousand, even thousands of thousands. The Lord is among them, as in Sinai, in the holy place. You have ascended on high. You have led captivity captive. You have received gifts among men, even among the rebellious, that the Lord God might dwell there. Blessed be the Lord, who daily 
loads us with benefits the god of our salvation a god is the god of salvation and to god the lord belong escapes from death but god will wound the head of his enemies the hairy scalp of the one who still goes on in his trespasses the lord said i will bring back from bashan i will bring them back from the depths of the sea that your foot may crush them in blood and the tongues of your dogs may have their portion from your enemies they have seen your procession o god the procession of my god my king into the sanctuary the singers went before the players on instruments followed after among them were the maidens playing timbrels bless god in the congregation the lord from the fountain of israel there is little benjamin their leader the princes of juda and their company the princes of zebulun and the princes of naphtali your god has commanded your strength strengthen o god what you have done for us because of your temple at jerusalem kings will bring presents to you rebuke the beasts of the reeds the herd of bulls with the calves of the people till everyone submits himself with pieces of silver scatter the people who delight in war and woes and voice will come out of egypt ethiopia will quickly stretch out her hands to god sing to god you kingdoms of the earth o sing praises to the lord to him who rides on the heaven of heavens which are which were of old indeed he sends out his voice a mighty voice a scribe strength to god his excellence is over israel and his strength is in the clouds o god you are more awesome than your holy places the god of israel is he who gives strength and power to his people blessed be god amen here ends the reading of psalm 68 the word is true which says o god you are more awesome than your holy places the god of israel is he who gives strength and power to his people yes beloved he is our mighty god wonderful counselor prince of peace and also he is our everlasting father as we read in isaiah chapter 9 verse 6 let us bless his name as the word is true in verse 19 blessed be the lord who daily loads us with benefits the god of our salvation yes jesus christ is the way the truth and the life john 14 verse 6 is true the word is life the word is spirit john 6 verse 63 is true god bless you numbers chapter 6 24 to 27 amen amen hallelujah amen